Hi everyone and welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey and in today's video we're going to be taking a deep dive into the tile maps and figure out how the auto tile works. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. Now I have a blank project in front of me here and I've created a few sprites in a sprite. I have a 16 tile set and a 42 tile set. However, if we import them in, I'm going to put them in the sprites here. I'll just drag and drop them in. We take a look at them, they're not really much, they're just a text number and the first sprite is gonna be unusable. That's just because of the way that Game Maker Studio works with the tile sets. So we're gonna close everything and create a new tile set and actually check it out here. So I'll just name my tile set TS1 and we will assign the 16 sprite here. So like I said, if I zoom in, I know it's a little hard to see because the numbers are different, but you can see that the first one is unusable and that's just something to remember. Now my sprite is set up by 16 by 16, so I don't have to play around with any of these settings here. If you're using a larger tile width, then you can come in and you can change the settings here, but I'm just going to keep mine as 16 by 16. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to turn on auto tiling. So if we click this, we have kind of an empty frame here and this is where we can fool around with the tiles. So we have a 47 tile template and then a 16 tile template. So I'm going to add the 16 just so we can have a look at it. Now all this wants us to do is to basically go through and click each one in the corresponding tile. So I'm just going to go through and just go down until I fill my tile set and they're going to be all numbers here and we're going to leave it like this. So the reason we're leaving it like this is so we can actually see what's happening behind the scenes. So I'm going to make sure that I save my tile set and I'm going to go into my room and I'm going to add a new tile set layer. Now in this tile set layer, I need to come over and choose my tile set, which is TS1. Now it changed my grid for me and the grid will always be the size of the tiles that we are using. Now this video is about auto tiling. So what we want to do is click the auto tile button up here. Now I'm going to go and change my background just so we can see the actual colors. Let's change it to something like a white background. Sorry about people's eyes, but we'll, we'll be using white so we can see the numbers here. Now if we click back on tiles, make sure we are, are on auto tile and you can see automatically the numbers here are following us around. So if I'm going to draw a box like this and then just fill it in, I can see kind of how the numbers are going to be in my sprite. So I know that number one is going to be the ground. We have 6, 11, 4, 13. So I can go back to my workspace. I can load up my tile set 16 and I can hit edit. Sorry, I can hit edit image. And if I turn on my grid, then I can just select this guy. And let's say for the ground, let's make it a dark green. So I'm going to fill this in. And then without even saving, if I go back to my room, it's automatically updated. So anywhere that I'm drawing the ground here, you can see that it gets filled in nicely. So I can just go through and I can kind of make a few little modifications here. So let's add some walls. So we'll go back and we want a six and 11 here. So we'll choose number six here. Let's take this guy and let's fill it in with this green and number six is on the left. So that means that um, let's choose a gray wall. Why not? It's gray. Choose the size of two just so we have something here and let's fill it in. So we'll copy this and for number 11, we'll just rotate it. And you can see that now we're starting to get some walls. So let's do four and 13 here and we will just take this and rotate it. And by the way, if you're not familiar with how I'm doing this, I'm pressing the Z key to rotate my sprite around. So four and 13 are filled in. So I'm getting kind of a nice tile set here. And basically you'll just want to go through and finish the rest of these here. So I can see like number 12 is a corner. While come in here, I will click my fill tool, choose my color, and then um, choose my brush size of two. And what corner is 12? 12 is up here. That means that we need to have a line here and a line here. And then I can just copy this and I can do, I think that's number eight. I can come over here. Number eight is like this. And then you can see we have two different ones here. So I'm just going to fill this in and we're going to finish it off just so you can see kind of what it looks like. So 14 and 15. So we'll come down here. 14 is that corner, which looks like that. And 15 is the bottom corner. So you can see that now we have this nice room and then it's really up to you to go through and kind of finish 
filling these in. So right now I'm right clicking and right clicking would be the inside of this area here. So that is how that sprite will work. If we're going to take a look at the other tile set, if we close this and create a new tile set, let's name this TS2. And once again, we will select our sprite. And you'll notice that the sprite 42 here is exactly the same. We just have the numbers here. We're already using a 16 by 16 grid. So all we have to do is click auto tile. And then what we want to add is this 47 template here. Did I miscount? I miscounted. But basically what you'd want to do is go through each one and click each one until you get the right number of items in your list here. So if we wanted to add those missing ones in, we could just open our tile set and I can see here if I take, if I turn on my grid, I know that this is going to be 43. So I might as well write something in there. 43, 44 and 45. Who can count 46 and 47. So with that, now what I can do is make sure my tile set is saved, which is up here. I need to make sure that that one is going to be 47 there. And I'm going to create a new room here and I will delete the tile set that we have, add a new one and add in the tile set too. Now the only difference with this is we have a lot more control. So if I draw the box and I draw the right thing here, that's unselect everything use auto tile and if i draw a box you can see that we have a lot more tiles that are going to be used as soon as our box gets filled in so this gives us more control over the tile set so the look and feel than our normal tiles which we have were just uh, 16. so anyway that is kind of how i figure out tiles hopefully that will help you out what i would probably do once i figure everything out like this I would just right click and say open an explorer and then I would open up this guy right here into something like a sprite or even pixel edit or paint.net whatever you're going to use to make your tile set so and then you can just automatically import this once again you could override it using the import settings here and that's how you would create your tile set so I hope you found this useful and I see you in the next video once again, I'd like to thank everyone for showing support through Patreon as well as the channel here. A special shout out to the following Patreon users in no particular order. Bill, Ashby, Blunt BSC, Ian, Durful, Edward, Paul, Angel, Robert, Victor, and Annie. Once again, thank you everyone for showing your support, and I'll see you in the next video.